Welcome back to It's a Remarkable Time Who Cares. This is a very special daytime segment. Normally, I play a talk show host, but right now we're going to get down to brass tacks. I'm going to play Medicine Man. The switch has been made. All right. Right here, we're talking to Peter Schnittelfein, and he tells me he is not too fond about being a white person. Now tell me, Peter, what is it about being white that is so gosh darn awful? Everything. We smell bad. We, we don't get ashy. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you that being ashy is not all it's cracked up to be. I just, I just want have to have to wear Johnson & Johnson's one time. Right now I'm actually wearing cocoa butter. Can you smell it? I mean, there are things like that you can do to help yourself. If you don't like being white, maybe the first thing you need to do is love being white. Okay. I am one-third Chippewa medicine man. And there's nothing wrong with the other two-thirds of me. Nothing wrong. Let's have a beer. It's just... That really sets off my typical blood. It doesn't do anything for me. Just because I'm white. Oh, God. What what could I do for you to make being white more comfortable? How could I how could I help you? Tell me what it is that I can do to make you less white and more comfortable. This is tough for you, I know. I know. You're gonna get some tough love now, okay? I love you. I love your white skin. I love your narrow nose, your light colored eyes. I love your white body. I want you to love your own white body too. Now as a Chippewa, so this is the hardest thing for me to ever have to say, but I love your whiteness. If you were coming onto my reservation, I would make you an honorary Indian. That would be fantastic, <laughs> because then I wouldn't consider myself fully white anymore. Your life is spinning out of control. We need to we need to talk to some sense into you. I'm, no, I'm going. No, I don't need any help. <laughs> your life, you can't you can't do anything for your life right now. You're so so bad at it that I'm gonna I'm gonna send you to rehab. I, I, well, can't, you, I can't, I can't, I have too many things going on right now. Will you go to rehab? This is the best thing that's ever been offered to you. Will you take it? Will you go to white person rehab? So you will love being a white person. How long and where? 30 days at the uh, New Hope Clinic. It's in, it's in New Hope, Pennsylvania. It has nothing to do with Star Wars. Well, I don't really like Star Wars anyway. Too many white people. Oh yeah, you're right. I want you to be happy in your own skin. Is this not clear? I just cannot get my mind around how you could think Swedes smell bad, the Irish are drunk, the English have terrible food, and Brazilians, Brazilians are the life of the party. You can't really think that, can you? I want you to know that God loves all his children. I want someone to remove my skin and then put someone else's skin on me, who is darker. <gasps> we don't have any donor skins for you right now. It worked in Hellraiser, it can work here. It worked in Face Off too, and they were both white. Yeah, they see that, that just seems pointless to me for them to do that. I would, I would happily upgrade to Nicolas Cage if I was John Travolta. Yeah, you're just switching from one whitey to another. But he might have more Italian in him. I, mean, I think they have maybe equal parts Italian, and that's, that's a good place to be. It's got some Coppola in him. Coppola. Some fat Coppola. <laughs> and then Travolta, I mean, he's got his, his brother, his other, the other Tra Travolta in there. And Scientology. Yeah, it's in his DNA. Because of, because of Lord Zeno. No, actually, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that actually Scientology would probably be the best bet for you. Fuck all this, fuck all this love. I think, I think it's all about your thetan levels. Now, I'm, a, I'm gonna have a change of heart mid-interview. Yeah, it's your thetans. Can you audit me?
Yes, I have a machine. Just over behind the camera. Mm. We'll go. We'll get your hands on there. We'll, we'll tell you how how redeemed you are. I, I knew psychiatry wasn't the answer. <laughs> now, being white is obviously the worst thing in the world to you. What race would be ideal if you could have their skin? <clears throat> all your problems would go away. I would like to be Chinese. I would like to actually not just be Chinese, but be part of the People's Republic of China. Their unity and their solidarity. It's something we don't have, I will admit that. Yes. Now what I want to tell you about the Chinese is something that might blow your mind. You have more in common with the Chinese than you may think. Under certain lights, that light, your skin appears to be yellow. Think about that. Think about that. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about that yet? No. Are you thinking about it now? A little. I don't have time for this. You're on my show. Do you love yourself yet? I, I just don't, I don't believe it. I don't feel it. You don't feel it? I don't feel it. Well, what if I told you, son, I saw the size of your penis. <laughs> I, regretfully. It's so minuscule. <laughs> exactly, son. The Chinese have small penises. It's a, it's both a stereotype and a fact. I've seen the details of your penis. Where do you get, where do you get your influences from? Who is your favorite racist? Well, Tommy Hilfiger is definitely one of them. When he was quoted as saying that he would have never have made clothing if he knew that Usher would start wearing them. It just it resonated with me so deeply. But it also made me realize how shitty white people are. Because Tommy Hilfiger is such a shitty person that he couldn't even kick Axl Rose's ass. Uh, Axl Rose. Sad day for white people, I, even I must admit. Sad day. Cheers to that, honky. Your white jeans are trying to tell you something. Your white jeans are trying to say, look, I'm not from Europe or North America. I'm from planet Earth. <clears throat> Do you know where that is? Do you know where that is, planet Earth? It's right here. It's, it's right there. And I've got a great surprise for you. We have the results of your maternity test. Live via satellite, here is somebody who, who might surprise you. It's your maternal mother. Hey Peter, it's me. It's your birth mom. Mutha? Sorry, but I had you when I was nine, so I had to give you up. You work at a gas station now? for the rest of your life. Not only do you get to work at one, but you get to own your own gas station. That's great news, Peter. Now, I want you to put that one Indian lip on my dick. We'll be right back. Thanks, medicine man. Thank you, medicine man. Would you like to be on our next show? Have you died of AIDS? We want to talk to you. Also, is your mom a pedophile? I don't want to talk to her. Call 1-800-IT'S-A-REMARKABLE-TIME. Who cares?